CNN Headline News Update. Okay, good afternoon, folks. Larry Pesavento with the mid-afternoon update for TFNN. It's a more or less a red type day today, folks. We've got all the stock indices are down. The S&P is down about 20. NASDAQ was down about 200. It's down a little over 100 right now. Dow Jones about 100 and a half and Russell down about 15. So it's a rel relatively quiet day. It's been a down week since uh, we topped last Friday uh, up around that uh, 4995 uh, level in the S&P. We've given back about 70 handles uh, from that level. Uh, Treasury bonds and Treasury notes uh, have rallied a little bit from an oversold position, but they're running against some really strong resistance up in the 129 level basis, the September uh, Treasury bonds. Gold, a very, very unusual day in gold. We got down as low as 1918, folks, in the gold. And as you know, we're looking for a price objective of 1915 to 1905, and it promptly rallied $30 straight up. To 1949, and I my phone just wouldn't stop ringing off the hook. We missed the silver, we missed the gold, we missed the silver, we missed the gold. And I said, yes, we might have, but you know, I'm not going to chase anything. And what's happened? Gold's come down another $25, closer to the lows of the day now than the highs of the day. That's a question of I just don't like to chase chase markets folks every time i've done that i might as well write my check to directly to the chicago mercantile exchange and bypass commissions that's the best way i can probably understand it but uh, we've got a, a very important date coming up here on july 25th chris carolyn of the spiral calendar uh, has been talking about this since 1990 can you believe that folks that's 33 years ago he'd been talking about this date july the 25th of 2023 so we'll see if anything happens on that date it'll probably trade that day except that it's a sunday so we're gonna have to wait until monday to find out what's happening this happens to be just the first down week out of eight in the nasdaq or ten first down week out of ten weeks in the nasdaq so it's hardly a bear market we've hit some major resistance in some things but in other things are just chopping around the uh, dow stocks are not doing very much at all it's basically the nasdaq it is controlling the market, but that's the most widely publicized thing of all. Our guest at the break here at 1.30 will be Stan Harley, the Harley Stock Market Letter. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. <laughs> 